Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG AGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, look, check this out. Y'all know I like to be outside, you know, unless it's raining or something. But today, unfortunately, they have a lot of construction out there. So, it's making a lot of noise. And I want y'all to hear me in, 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 in this one. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So, let's get right to it. Um, We have an update, which I saw last night, but I wanted to wait. You know what I'm saying? Be patient and and gather all the information before I give you all the updates that are rushed into a conclusion like the majority of us have been doing lately in regards to Ryan Garcia and Devin Haiti PED situation. We gonna get this situation shit shit hated. You know what I'm talking about? Eventually. Not now though, unfortunately. So um, those of you may know that uh, Dan Raphael has, has reported that um, some good news. <laughs> you know, well, I guess bad news if you're a conspiracy theorist uh, and, and bad news if you're a Devin Haiti or a Devin Haiti fan. <laughs> Or whatever you know i just like boxes so you know i, I, I y'all know i like ryan garcia but if someone cheated then they cheated it is what it is but we will we will you're you're, you're innocent until proven guilty we go let due process play out on this side you know that's what i think so um you know we have one step in a positive direction to proving ryan garcia's uh, uh innocence is that uh he has been proven uh, his his results upon further evaluation of his samples that were submitted uh, earlier uh, uh, on uh, on the night of the fight or the night before in regards to the substance uh, noradrosterone, 19 noradrosterone, that has came back negative. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. So that was a false reading. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. Shut up, bitch. No, that doesn't mean that anybody's conspiring against them. Like those you, like that's the thing about conspiracies. There are some real conspiracies that do exist indeed. However, the majority of people hollering about a conspiracy are people who are ignorant about the situation or are too stupid to find out more about the information so they, and they don't understand it so they just think it's a conspiracy. No, you just don't understand it. And you don't want to understand it, so you think it's a conspiracy. That's not how life works, man. Somebody out there understands. And me being a, um, have my PhD in engineering, granted it's not in that type of science when it comes to testing banned substances, but I do have familiarity, a lot of familiarity with running tests and simulations. And in these tests and simulations throughout the course, there's a thing called error. And then you, associated with the error, you do an error analysis. You know, it, oh man, this reminds me of uh, error standard mean and deviation and statistics. Oh Lord, don't remind me of that. No, God, please, no, 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 no. But anyway, it's an essential part of testing, especially when you're testing samples of things and stuff like that. It, it, most importantly, it indicates that every single test result that you have is not necessarily a thousand percent accurate, let alone it's definitely not a hundred, it's not even a hundred percent accurate all the time. But this process has been proven and validated that it, it essentially works the majority, a good large bulk of the time. But you know, there's still a chance that it's wrong. So with, with, with the chance of a test being wrong, it's a chance that Ryan Garcia didn't actually have the substances in the system that the test is saying. Now it's a slim chance, but still, a slim chance is still a chance. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? So we are going to give Ryan Garcia the opportunity to prove his innocence, but I'm not on the side of those goofies saying that anybody's conspiring against him. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think it's a conspiracy at all. I just think that the test could be wrong. Whether he's guilty or he's innocent, whether the test is positive or negative, I do not subscribe to the notion that it's a conspiracy. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, so, like I said, I'm rooting for Ryan Garcia to be innocent, but I'm, 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 I'm not one of those who think it's a conspiracy. But let's get back to the update. So the update is that the norandrosterone, which was found in the system on the on the original test, had been further evaluated and is not in the system. However, he's not out the out out out, out the out the He's not out the dark yet, you know. Um, he's still not out the fire because, for whatever reason, they still have not tested the B sample. Bullshit! 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 Now he requested officially for the B sample to be tested, right? Um, yesterday or the day before, and according to Dan Raphael, that won't be concluded or that won't happen until May twenty second. So I'm not familiar with the protocol of testing and and, and once a, a athlete requests to get the B sample evaluated, I'm not familiar with the protocol procedure, how long it normally takes. But to me, this seems like a long time. You know what I'm talking about? Seems like they dragging their feet. Why are they doing this? If anything, that's a conspiracy right there. Why are they taking so long? You know what I'm saying? But like, once again, I don't know how long it normally takes, so I can't really speak on that. But I will say this. So with the Osterine that was present, that's a bad substance, you know? And so, um, 
there are thresholds of certain substances. Like, for example, there, there are thresholds and limits and limited amounts that they allow to be found in your system that are OK. Um, so, like, for example, testosterone, that's a, that's a, that's something that your body produces naturally. Right. But you could have an excessive amount, meaning that you could get some from external forces or er, external forces, exter- external external sources. So you could you could put too much in your body to where that'll exceed the, lem- the, the, the level that's acceptable in competition. Osterine is not one of those substances. So testosterone you can have, but you can't have pers- you can't have past a certain level. Uh, uh, Osterine you cannot have at all. You know if that's in your system at all, if it's present at all, then that is illegal. You know so that's the difference right there. A lot of, there's a lot of confusion because I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Um, sometimes people jump to conclusions. You know that's that's what people do on Twitter. But I will say that that wasn't necessarily clear. I thought that Dan Raphael could have worded that a little better, a little more clear. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. So like something like testosterone that could be present in your body. But it just can't exceed a certain level. But something like Osterine that cannot be present at all. And if it's present in your system at all, then that that means that you know that you're you're probably cheating. You know what I'm saying? Most likely, well, I mean, well, it's not supposed to be there at all. That that's illegal. You know whether you did it intentionally or it was unbeknownst to you in your system. You know that that that's 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 left that's up to debate. So Osterine is still being tested for. Ryan Garcia is not cleared from that yet, and that's what will be tested on May 22nd. That's what they say, according to Dan Raphael. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll get a result sooner so we can bring this freaking case to a close i'm tired of talking about it but you know what i'm saying about roof right Garcia to be innocent but if he is guilty then he needs to be punished accordingly just like everybody else i appreciate y'all as always let me know what y'all think about this 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 situation and is about to get situated you know what i'm talking about y'all let me know but i appreciate y'all as always remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing y'all be easy god bless peace the doctor's out from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.